name is Russell Hall. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. I'm 39 years old. I'm married with two sons. I'm a sculptor, mold maker, and parts fabricator for Sally Corporation. I've completed my design and I'm ready to move on to the sculpting phase. To start, you need a good armature to apply the clay. And here I've used aluminum armature wire to block out the form. Next I will apply foam to that wire to further block out the form before I apply the clay. <laughs> now I'm going to take the foam and apply it to the armature wire to further block out the shape before I apply the clay. done I've taken my foam armature and I've covered it in fiberglass and gel coat and this is actually going to be the core of my mold when it's all said and done. Now I'm applying clean clay which is an oil based clay over my armature and that will be my sculpture and then I'll mold it from there. For me my job at Sally is a dream job. We specialize in animatronics and create anything from dinosaurs to human likeness robots. My specific job is to take the client approved designs and then produce them into actual parts. I get to do fun and exciting things every day at work and actually make a living doing an art that I love to do. Now that I've completed the sculpture, I will begin to plan my mold. Using metal shims is one way to establish your mold flange. Here I've taken metal shims I've made from coke cans and pushed it into the sculpture along my mold separation lines that I've established. The drawback to using this method is that you actually have to push the shims into the clay which disturbs the sculpture. So you have to be very careful and gently push the shims in place to make as tight a line as you can without disturbing the sculpture. This clay is very soft clay so it's uh, very easy to make a big ugly seam line if you're not careful. Here I decided to make keys for my mother mold to actually lock in place and hold the core in place when I inject the silicone. I have chosen to use shell shock which is a two part brushable urethane plastic as my mold material. I've chosen to use Mold Max 15T by Smooth On. It's a flexible silicone with a 15 durometer. It's T for translucent, which means you can pigment it to your to your liking. My silicone injection mold is complete, and I'm now injecting silicone from this pot through this tube and that port into my mold. And after the silicone has run through the mold, and it's venting out the top of the mold, and now I'm just letting it fill up this tube. I've had a successful pull with my silicone injection. A uh, very minor seam line to correct. And now I'm attaching the spider legs to the head. The spider legs are made from pipe insulation, armature wire, and I've wrapped them with electrical tape. And they're being attached to the head with a piece of uh, PVC tubing that is glued to a large washer that is pushed through the opening in the silicone and that will hold the legs in place. Leg is then uh, attached and then it is I will cover them with a uh, silicone skin 
to match the head and then I will paint it. I got the idea or the inspiration for this character watching the episode of Face Off, uh, the, the Animorph episode where they had to take a um, creature or insect and meld it with a human, human-animal hybrid. And so I was thinking about that, thinking about things that scare me the most, and uh, spiders is one of the most frightening things to me, so I came up with this uh, original creature design. The uh, spider legs are made from pipe insulation and uh, aluminum armature wire, as I've probably said before. But uh, anyway, it adds a lot of uh, free animation, so when you got this uh, mask on your head and you're walking around, just a slight bit of movement allows these little legs just to dangle everywhere. That's a little creep factor to it. Even when you're creating an original concept or creature design, you can't help but be influenced by some of your favorite movies. And some of my favorites are uh, The Thing, and you can see a little bit of that in this one with the spider head. Uh, the Fly is one of my favorite movies as well. And also, got a little bit of Davy Jones's head in the back. Now that the paint job is complete, I'm going to have some fun with this and um, punch some gross little spider hairs sparsely over the head. Uh, use that with a little needle tool and just punch directly into the silicone. finished. Uh, the spider head creature is now complete and I hope you've enjoyed watching this creation come to life. And I also hope that you consider me to be a contestant on the next season of Face Off, where I will bring even more exciting creations to reality.